So day one, calorie counting. Santa's reindeer typically eat regular reindeer food, but they need a lot of magical energy to deliver presents on Christmas. For that, their favorite snack is a special type of star, fruit that only grows deep in the jungle. They also have brought you on their annual expedition to the grove where the fruit grows. To supply enough magical energy, the expedition needs to retrieve a minimum of 50 stars by December 25th. Although the elves assure you that the grove has plenty of fruit, you decide to grab any fruit you see along the way, just in case. Collect stars by solving puzzles. Two puzzles will be made available on each day in the advent calendar. The second puzzle is unlocked when you complete the first. Each puzzle grants one star. Good luck. The jungle must be too overgrown and difficult to navigate in vehicles or access from the air. The elves expedition traditionally goes on foot. As your boat approaches land, the elves begin taking inventory of their supplies. One important consideration is f food, in particular the number of calories each elf is carrying, which is the input puzzle, the puzzle input. The elves take turns writing down the number of calories contained by the various meals, snacks, rations, etc. that they've brought with them, one item per line. Each elf separates their own inventory from the previous elves inventory, if any, by a blank line. For example, suppose the elves finish writing their items, calories, and the following list. So this is one elf, and then the space separates to the next elf, sp separates to the next elf. There was five elves, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, so that makes sense. So each blank line indicates a new elf, so it's just adding it up. In case the elves get hungry, need extra snacks, they need to know which elf to ask. They'd like to know how many calories are being carried by the elf car carrying the most calories. In the example above, it's 20, 24,000. Carried by the fourth health. Okay, that sounds easy enough. So let's get the puzzle input. So I'll copy this and we'll go to our code. And in here, we'll paste it into here. So I already did a little bit of start, just preparing for reading the lines. So as we're going through each line like this, we will have an int for, what would you call it? No, let's call it elf index. And then int elf calorie. So what we'll do next is for for each var line in input actually what we need is int current elf int current calorie. We will then do actually I'm just going to quickly run this and see how does it what the output looks like for this. So I haven't actually checked Console dot right line, and we'll just do line like that. Okay, cool. But I also want to know: do those blank lines equal just a new line? They do not. Okay, is it just an empty string then? Okay, yes, it is. So we can do, if it's an empty string, if current calorie greater than elf calorie, elf calorie equals current calorie, then we will do, oh yeah, we also need to do elf index equals current elf. Then below here, we need to set current elf plus plus okay if we're doing that make this equal to one then current calorie equals zero but if it's not we will do current calorie plus equals int line then we get get to the bottom we'll do console dot right line elf calorie no elf index so I think that should be what we need to do to make it work cannot convert type string oh yeah we need to do int32 dot pass okay apparently elf223 has the most 
Although, let's just run it again, but actually show you the car the max calorie. So let's go again. Okay, apparently Elf 223 is holding 51,000 calories. So if we go back to here, uh, what was it? 223. So how many, okay, how many calories is carrying? So 51969. That's not right, it's too low. Okay. Let's look at the input just to see where it could have gone wrong. I mean, it seems to be correct in how it works. What we'll do for testing is use this value. So we're going to change input equals new list string and do this okay now that we have the, the test value set up let's run it okay so it's not adding up the numbers correctly as we can see okay so where's where did it go wrong so if current calorie is greater than elf calorie elf calorie gives current cal calorie so that seems all correct I would just do console dot right line and we will do current elf dot to string then we will do current calorie dot dot to string Oops. Ah, oh. calorie. Oh, my mistake. I did current calorie here, not elf calorie. Ah. Oh. Okay. Do that. Now let's get rid of the test values. Now let's run it. Okay, 72,000. Now let's enter that one in. There we go. So now let's go on to part two. Part two. By the time you calculate the answer to the elves question, they've already realized that the elf carrying the most calories of food might eventually run out of snacks. <laughs> to avoid this unacceptable situation, the elves would instead like to know the total calories carried by the top three elves carrying the most calories. That way, even if one of those elves run out of snacks, they still have two backups. In the example above, the top three elves are the fourth elf with 24,000, then the third is 11,000, then the fifth is 10,000. The sum of the calories carried by them is 45,000. Find the top three elves carrying the most calories. How many of th are those elves carrying in total? Okay, so we're going to change this up a bit. Structure it so it's part one and part two. This is just, whoops, just void. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna quickly run this, see if it works, then I'll start with part two. Okay, cool, that's working. Except I'll remove these prints now. Only keep the ones we need. Okay, let's get started with part two. I'm just going to copy this existing code, name it part two, and then change this to part two. So this time we need to keep three elves. So I guess, actually I'm just getting rid of these as well as these numbers aren't needed. So we'll have int elf calorie equals new int 3. So we have that. Current in calorie 0. We will then do for int i equals 0. i is less than 3i plus plus. We will then do if current calorie is greater than elf calorie 
I will do four. Actually, we will do this the other way. We'll do two greater equal to zero and do I minus minus. Then we will do if I does not equal two elf calorie I minus one equals elf calorie I no this should be plus one then we'll do elf calorie I equals current calorie yeah I think that's that will work let's run it and see if it works index was outside the bounds of the array so I starts at if i does not equal to wait this should be plus i thought i changed that okay let's go again okay well i didn't think of that reach int now i'm in elf calorie total calorie zero plus equals num then we'll do console dot right line right line total dot to string now let's see if that's correct okay let's see if this number's right okay cool so we've got that right that is the first day of Advent of Code 2022 completed. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so don't miss out on any new videos that are for this Advent of Code 2022.